Clinton v. City of New York, 1998. This was the consolidation of two separate cases involving the line item veto. Congress passed the Line Item Veto Act of 1996, which gave the president the power to nullify certain parts of appropriation bills. In other words, he could veto parts of a bill while allowing other parts to pass with his signature. The city of New York sued in federal court that it was harmed by the line item veto of the president on the Balanced Budget Act of 1997. This case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a 6-3 decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the Line Item Veto Act violated the Presentment Clause of the Constitution, Article 1, Section 7, Clauses 2 and 3. The court ruled that the president must either approve or reject a bill passed by Congress as a whole. The power to pick and choose which part to accept was ruled unconstitutional.